This is the new normal for many Ugandan students who are going to be returning to school today and the following days to resume their studies. For about 1.5 million learners waiting to sit their final exams early in 2021, this is the new normal. Sanitizing, wearing masks and frequent hand washing have now become part of the school routine. But as the learners begin the belated second term, emphasis has also been put on counseling them on adapting to this new normal. We felt we need to prepare them first before we can really engage them in serious academic work. We are sensitizing them, we are motivating them, we are encouraging them. They need to know what is happening. Teaching will also be conducted in a different manner, with the learners separated into smaller groups while elsewhere. They will be taught in shifts. The good thing also, since the other classes are not around, we don't need extra manpower. We just have to use the ones who are supposed to teach these other classes. We've arranged the, the classrooms, there are only 16 children, sitting two meters apart. We have about uh, 13 streams that is going to be managed by about 18 teachers. The learners have overcome this new arrangement. Um, it's very exciting, but also it's a, it's a bit anxious for me since it has been a long time since I returned back to school. So I'm trying to cope up with my studies. I feel so happy because I intended to complete senior six this year and I had other plans to do. I feel, I feel great because I've been idle at home. So at least now. I'm now reading my books. The payment of school dues is still a contentious matter after some parents paid all schools for first term, but it never ended. The education ministry has advised schools and parents to work out the modalities. We gave some small uh, subsidy. We, we made a small reduction in the fees for this term. That is, if you had completed the previous term. The majority of our parents have paid. We really want to thank them so much. And the isolated cases who have not been able to pay, they came to us, we talked, they made some instalment. On the other hand, some schools could not reopen because they were not inspected. Kampala, uh, Wakiso, and uh, mainly Kampala, Wakiso, Wakiso as a district, but also Nasana as a municipality. During his last COVID address on 20th September 2020, President Chair Museveni said that the fate of other learners still at home will be decided by January 2021. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.